Hey everyone, so today we're going to find a partial derivative uh, with respect to uh, either t or s. Let's do it with respect to t, and uh, we're going to use the multivariable chain rule from calculus. So del w del t. So how would you use the chain rule in this situation? Well, w is a function of x and y, right? So, uh, and then each of x and y are both functions of s and t. Therefore, w is actually a function of s and t, both. Um, so in this case, when you're taking the partial with respect to t, uh, it would be del w del x times, and then the derivative of the inside. Well, the inside function is x, so its derivative with respect to t is del x del t plus. Then we do the same thing for the other variable, for y. So it would be del w del y times the derivative of the inside. So that would be uh, del y del t. There's a chart that sometimes people um, use in, in books and stuff uh, to help them understand this. Uh, this could be helpful. Uh, I'll do it over here, so let me show you. So basically, um, if you have um, w, that's our main function, and then so w is a function of two variables, so x and y, you could think of it that way. At the same time, each of x and y is a function of two variables, so s, t, and then here we have s, and then here we have t. Okay, so to go from here to here, you compute del w, del x, and to go from here to here, you do, this is a function of two variables, so it's a partial. So it's del x, del s. Likewise, this is del x, del t. Likewise here, this will be del w, del y. It's, a, it's two choices, so it's a partial. And then here, del y, del s. And then here, del y, del t. So that's the, the chart that sometimes you see in books. And so let's apply it here. So let's see, del w, del t. Well, to get to del w, del t, you can do it, you can do it two ways, right? One way would be del w del x, del x del t. So boom, 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 boom. There it is. Boom, boom. See it? Ha. So go that way and that way and gives you that. The other way to get uh, to a del t uh, is del y, del w del y, del y del t. So boom, boom. There it is. So if you follow it this way and you follow it this way, you get what we have here. I typically don't draw the picture. I just think about it, right? X is the function of s and t. Y is a function of s and t. So here you have w, and it's a function of x and y. Therefore, it's also a function of s and t, so this actually makes sense. And then so when you take this partial, you do del w del x, and then you go inside del x del t, and then del w del y, then you go inside del y del t. So del w del x, let's see. Wow, we got to take a derivative now. The derivative of a sine is cosine. So this is going to be cosine of 2x plus 3y. We're using the chain rule. Times the derivative of the inside with respect to x. So the derivative of 3y is 0, so this derivative here is simply 2, right, that's it, just 2, and then times del x del t. So del x del t um, is going to be, uh, looks like it's going to be 1, right, so 1, plus uh, here, uh, del w del y, again, the derivative of sine is cosine, so cosine 2x plus 3y. And then we take the partial, uh, the derivative of the inside, right? So it's going to be 3. Uh, and the derivative of y is 1. And then you're supposed to multiply by del y del t. So that would be, in this case, negative 1. If you kind of ignore the formula and just take this derivative with respect to y, it makes sense. Watch this. Del w del y, the derivative is cosine of 2x plus 3y, times the derivative of the inside, right? Because we have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of x is 0, the derivative of 3y is 3, and the derivative of y uh, with respect to t, well, that's del y del t, right? But what is that? In this case, del y del t is negative 1. So even without looking at the formula, if you just think about the chain rule, uh, it works. So let's clean all this up. Uh, let's put the 2 in the front. Uh, let's see, x is s plus t, so we get 2 x s plus t plus 3, and then y is s minus t, okay, plus, I'm going to write it down here, cosine, 2, same thing, s plus t, plus 3, and then s minus t, phone is ringing, <laughs> it's a minus 3, put that in the front, and then um, from here you would just distribute and, and clean it up, I hate to stop the video short, but that's it, sorry.